from Mewborn Field, Nathan McCreary and Jessica Sinclair joining you here from Mewborn. She's a senior from Locust Grove. She had the lone hit, which was a bomb for the Panthers the last time she was out today. She has a 3.96 ERA, 12 and 6 win loss. To get back to that that plateau of 20 wins. They've got some pop in the Gainesville. <laughs> What's North yeah. Gwinnett? They are the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs. Not as cool. Not as cool. Ground ball, and it's a beauty. Perfectly placed. Conley just had to put it for the, the pitcher to be right here. Yeah, one, two. And getting three, two. And that ball is lined and then over to first for the double play. For the Jackets, 296 on the season for Nadler. Here's the one, two. And that's going to be popped up easily for Dennis. And she gets out of it after g getting a leadoff single. This Panthers pitchers. You see Sarah Beth Allen also looming in the middle of that order. Pitch, two hits, two runs. She saw Georgia Tech in that Valentine. Probably going to give some spin and try to locate those pitches for the strikes. Ye for third. And that Ooh. ball is caught in a heck of a effort. We were just talking about her not having as much success against this lineup. It's good to know that your defense is. Checks the wrist, and here's the pitch. And then another ball that's to third. Nicely done as Richardson gloved on the season. Second on the team in home runs with seven. Got off to a. Battles back to a full count and gets the strikeout. So nothing doing, flashing the leather. The Sun Belt, her second season yeah, with she's the program. Coming, she's coming into the play, coached against them, so they're all in the family here. Big softball fan. 3-1 count, and ball four. Lead off walk, it's kind of what we talked about. You got to avoid those. And Richardson's, and getting your bunt down is something that coaches are expecting to have. Here's the 0-1. That one's going to be tough. Black only going to get the lead runner. So softly enough that she only has one facing Mumfield. That's way off in ball four. So you've walked two runners, or two batters, rather. Didi, another Pope product out of Marietta. And, you and that's a little chopper, Saleo. On to second, gets one. On to first, not going to get the runner over at first. And it's because she puts that hard work in. Here is Jackie Gonzalez. All right. So you have to be careful. One, two. Swing and a miss. Don't have to be careful there. Big swing. Gonzalez goes down. And I believe Coach Morales just picked up her 150th. Yes, she win. did. She provided the pop. And that's ball four. So leadoff walk. Four home runs, five doubles, and 30 hit. Adams delivers. Swing and a miss. Big pitch for Adams after a walk. Here is Emma Mingini, the sophomore, and she immediately jumps on the first pitch, and it's a gapper between the center fielder and the right. At the plate mm -hmm. when you're... A freshman in this situation. How about that plan? Grounded in the six hole. One run will score. Hunter will advance to second base. Good. On the. Here's another 3 2. Ball four. And the ball scoots all the way up the third base line. Has good speed, but when you have bases loaded, you got people in front of you. Against Pittsburgh, did Edgman. She's going to ground it first. Play to, nope, they're not going to play the play to second. So run scores and Nadler. But 361 on the year. That third spot for all time doubles for Georgia Tech. Grounded play at home. They'll get the force for out number. It hurts just the same in foul territory, yeah. oh, okay. but at least you're. All right, 0 2. And lifts one deep. And out of here. A grand have opened it up. Six nothing. That's a great, great piece of hitting right there. 
She got a over the middle little outside pitch and was on time for that one. But I can't imagine it's easy to bounce back from that. You got to have a short memory, though. Yeah, so you think that's got to sting a little bit. Not going to be let down by Richardson as she fires on the first for the final out, but not. Do not. If we only had some device that we could. Here's the pitch. And she's going to chase one. And they're going to throw down the first. For hey. See that back foot. Yeah, it's close. close. Ground ball. But Black's there on to first for out number two. She's going to chop it. Conley on to first. And it is a 1-2-3 inning for Chandler Dennis in the Georgia Tech Yellow J. A rise ball. Sophomore. 5-11. 2-1. Chopped. Richardson on to first for the first out. Corner there uh, for both sides of this game. It should look like your other pitchers when it's getting delivered. That was delivered into the outfield and going to touch grass as Hughes has a sink for as popping out of the dugout. Hodnett delivers. That ball's down and going to get away from Didi. And down to second. Swing and a miss. First strikeout for Hodnett. Got her on the Every miss. other jacket is taking some pitches. And I'd like her to see to see her wait on something. That's going to be popped up and put away for out number three by Nadler. Getting 727. Woo. A one third, a one point. Facing Chandler Dennis here. She's going to ground it. Saleo gobbles it up. On to first for out number one. Saleo just has walked in her first at bat. Back in the second inning, there's a leadoff walk. With how this has been going for her, you'd like to see her just go right out of person. There Slap. She goes. Yep. Conley. And that, that swing was set up by that previous pitch that was second. That knobbed the bat, I believe. Oh, no, they're going to say it hit her. Hit yeah, that's her. what I'd say, too. Delivers a ball lifted up to left. And Kauf puts it away for out. Better right here than I was. Swing and a miss. Down goes Saleo. Second strikeout for Hodnett. And a bunt by Edgman. Back to Hodnett is going to get past the first baseman. Edgman tumbled. I don't know. I think she, she may have beat that out even without the 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Chopped. And one play, and they're going to say it's foul. Pitch. Going to pop that one up. Looks like it's going to be in foul territory right at the bag. Put away by Richardson. Here with the runner at second. And two outs. And she's put another charge in one, but it's not going to get too, too far out as it's put away back in the second inning. Probably the best scoring. Hour. Sharply hit. Black fields it and fires on the first. Another fine. Jackets trying to go on a three-game. Also sit ninth in conference, and there's a ball four. So one out walk to Didi. Montague, six for six, therefore. And Chopper, Black, on to second, on to first, and it's a double play by the Jackets. At Mallory Black had two home runs in the game, one being a grand slam, so. See if she can get a hit here. Going to pop it up. As Mumfield will put it away for out number one, walked in the second, grounded out in the third. She did strikes. Grounded. Richardson on the first. Nice stretch. Is it going to be an out? It is. 
They're stranded at second base. There it is, five innings pitch, one hit, three walks. Struck out back in the third. And a little bloop out to Emma Kauf. Brown a senior. Oh boy, Mallory Black came in on the corners and that got shot right past her. You want to talk about But no one the circle tomorrow. That ball's driven out, and Kauf on her horse can't get there. Off the wall. Run comes around. The play at home is. So that's another example of. 3-1. That is down the middle. Grounded right back to Dennis. She'll field her position for out number two. That's a big out with Richardson coming up. to lead things off. And that ball is just softly tapped towards first base, and Hughes puts it away for out number three. So how about have a hit? And that hit was a double. And ball four. So why not come in and get a chance to run the bases as well? Lead off walk by Holly. Mentioned Hallie Adams from Pope. A chance against Clemson as a throw down to second is not in time. Recovery for a ball in the dirt from Didi. Two twos chopped. Richardson, now you're going to play pickle with the runner, and Dupree is going to dive in but be tagged out. And Davis is going to lift one into the Atlanta sky at the wall, put away for out number two. Maybe they'll review it and change it later. See if she can place it. Oh, and the inside pitch gets Edgman. And of course, she's wearing the elbow. And Macau all everything for Georgia Tech. And it's going to be off the glove. Everyone's going to be safe. Do we say deja vu? <laughs> One for three with a grand slam. By the way, that was a, Ooh. oh boy. That ball's, oh, it's just gonna be into foul territory. I thought she got more of it. And not gonna get the call. She goes down to first on a leadoff walk. That's what you wanna see at the top of the. It's a Mumfield. Swing and a miss by Mumfield. Ooh. That was a big swing there. Long look at her wrist, now delivers. Popped up. And put away. Fired down to first. She was She's going to lift it out towards left. Kalf. Camps under it and puts it away for out number three. So the Jackets. Like to see a midweek win rolling into a game tomorrow. Yeah, and a big hit by Grace Conley, the grand slam. So the Jackets. And player, I'm Nathan McCray. We say so long. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time here on the ACC Network Extra.